next. Hey, Nicola. Um, you guys were down 14, uh, four minutes left in the third quarter. Storm back, uh, obviously, to take momentum and hang on. What moments stand out to you about this comeback win? Are there any moments, three-pointers, rebounds, whatever, timeouts that stand out to you? I don't know. I, I, I think we, we played with a lot of uh, focus, even when they were, when they were up, uh, when they were up uh, a lot, 14. I think we actually was, stay as a group. And we were like we were tripping away, tripping away, um, and in the fourth quarter it was a tie, tie game. You know, when Monte made a layup or, or a three or a three for get us the lead, that was maybe a big moment. Uh, actually, I think Austin Rivers when he made a three uh, from the left slot, uh, left in the slot. I say left, left side of the court. I think that was a big three. Uh, I think Jermichael Green played extremely well. He maybe didn't score a lot, but but I felt that his presence, uh, he was really good for us. Uh, Monte was really good for us. He, he made uh, big shots. He played really with uh, he played really mature basketball. AJ made a big corner three. Um, Mike carried us in the first half, first quarter. So I think uh, I think the whole team. Uh, it was a team effort. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Hey, Nicola, congratulations. Uh, you just listed three different guys right there, but so often I feel like we talk about the depth of this team. And I'm just wondering, why do you think, I mean, from the starters all the way to guys that play some games and not other games, why does everyone believe in themselves to their core so much and believe in this group? Where does that come from? I mean, uh, I think we are just believing each other, you know. Uh, we, we are not getting mad if someone gets a bad shot, except me. I get mad at everybody. Uh, but uh, just for a split of second, you know. So, But uh, we are playing really team basketball. We are really uh, team-oriented, you know, uh, just because some have a um, like Mike, Mike uh, had a really good going. We everybody, everybody worked for him to get going, you know. So I mean, he scored a little bit. Everybody worked for him to get to, to shoot more, you know. So it was, uh, like I said, I think it's just a team effort, really team basketball uh, team. So I think that's the joy. Everybody's enjoying it, you know. Even if we lose, we know we play as a team. So we lost all together. Nick Cosmider, The Athletic. Yeah, hi, Nicola. Um, Michael Porter said after the game that in the fourth quarter, you know, he told uh, Coach Malone to just let J. Mike rock because he was playing the way that he's playing. What do you think it just says about the team, about how guys are, you know, kind of giving that up to say, I, I don't need to be in if that guy's doing the thing. Exactly. I mean, that's a, you can see that he gave in to the, to the team, you know, Yes, he, he was he was hot in the first half, first quarter, first half, whatever. But he felt that the uh, team is playing well, and he just sacrificed, sacrificed himself. Uh, and what's the name of that movie that he said, if you don't, you're going to die as individuals. If you don't go as a group, any given Sunday. It's really like that. Uh, so he sacrificed himself so, to, so the group and the team uh, in the game. Benny Benedetto, Denver Gazette. Hey, Nicole, what was going through your mind when you've got to check out six minutes into the first quarter with your second foul? Are you, do you feel like you're kind of like letting your teammates down or are you, are you just like entirely confident that they can keep you guys in it until you can get back out there? I was, I was completely calm, to be honest. Uh, uh, I trust my teammates. I trust uh, coach he's not gonna like he, he he's ready he knows everything uh, so he knows how to use his players uh, on the bench on the floor whoever whoever so I was just, just uh, I was just calm <laughs> calm slow and steady wins the race <laughs> see Ashley Neville mile high sports. 
Hey, Nicola, congrats. Um, so your teammates can't talk enough about, you know, just your all around level of play. How do you go about finding a balance between getting your teammates involved and then just completely taking over a game? Uh, I mean, it just happened in the game. You know, sometimes I, like the first quarter, like I didn't even, I was not even that aggressive. Like I, I didn't want to force it. Like why, why to force when, when, when I have the really good guy, really good score, get, go, get him going. So why do I maybe make him cold or whatever, make him angry so I can sacrifice myself a couple minutes or, or a quarter. Uh, so he, he's scoring, he carried, uh, carried the team. So I think it's, uh, it does happen in the game, you know, Sometimes you get the ball find me. Sometimes I get the guys open. So it's uh, it just uh, probably the way how we play basketball. Christo Saltes, SDNA Greece. Hey Nicola, after the game four and the performance in game four, did you feel more responsible you personally to set the tone for your teammates and what it means the way that you react after the, after that game with those two wins? You know. Like I said, uh, Nurk was guarding me really well. I think that the the the, he, the whole series, uh, he was really actually. I think that I played really well the second game uh, back in uh, Denver. This is the second game? I don't know, but uh, except that game, he guarded me really well. Yes, maybe I score a lot, but he 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 guarded me really well, make me take a tough shots. Um, so. Uh, in that game, I was really, I was missing. He was guarding me well, so I was just, I didn't, I didn't overreact. You know, it's just a bad game. It can happen to everybody. So I just, I was just calm, and and then I was ready for that game. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Two years ago, Nicola, Portland knocked you guys out at home game seven. I know that was a game that you guys had talked about a little bit, but how much does it say about the growth of this team that you handled your business and you got this one done in six games? Where have you come from then to now? I mean, we had a, we had a couple of game seven last years, you know, so I mean, to be honest, it's, it's just another game. Like, yes, you have some kind of experience from last year, but can that really? Can you really use that? I, I'm not sure. I don't know, because it's a completely new game. It's a completely new team. So I don't know. But uh, I'm glad that we we, uh, we finished the job here. I'm glad that everybody played well. I'm glad that we didn't quit because we had a couple guys out. Uh, we fought that every every game. So I'm glad that uh, we have a really good uh, group of guys and. Uh, they're not uh, winners. Joel Rush, Forbes. Hey, Nicola, congratulations. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, you guys have established a reputation for being resilient, like you were just talking about the fight and the no quit. And uh, that's been going on for years now, but you have a pretty different roster this time in the playoffs. So what is it about your guys, like team culture or uh, individuals that allows you to have that through line of resiliency no matter who's there? I mean, uh, Faku, Faku is the guy who, 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 who was winning before, you know, so Faku knows how to win. Faku is a winner. Faku is a warrior and he knows how to win and he knows what to do. Uh, Austin, he came uh, like a month, three, two months ago, whatever, month and a half ago, and he, he bought in, you know, he's playing hard, especially defensively. He's not... Uh, He's not uh, forcing, he's not, he, I think he actually kind of feel like when it's his time to go and just, but whatever he do, he's doing aggressively. So even if he make a mistake, it's aggressive, you know, so you cannot be like mad at him. And AG who is playing really well, who is guarding really well, who is uh, playing off, other, off others. And sometimes when we need him, he go and, and score. I think he made a really big uh, three tonight uh, in corner three. And uh, he was, he was really good. Nicola, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Mike Singer from the Denver Post. 
Hey, Nicola, you mentioned some of uh, your injured guys. I was watching tonight, and Will and PJ and Jamal were, were yelling and, and super, super engaged um, on the court. What impact did they have, um, and what were they telling you guys throughout the whole game? Because I, I know, you know Will has opinions, and I'm sure he'd like to share them. I mean, I don't want to say what, what Will was talking because I just don't want to. Uh, he's a funny guy. Uh, I mean, he's he's here since I came here, so we have some couple couple years together, you know. Uh, but they 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 trust us. They know that we are not gonna quit. So it's really good to have uh, those kind of guys that backing you up. So it's it's uh, especially when you when you're winning when the, when the like you have momentum. They they are really training for us. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Nicola. Hey, thank you guys very much. Bye-bye. Have a good one. My pleasure.